Hey guys, how you doing? So, question I get asked all the time, what is the best computer for software development? So I've used them all. I've had Linux, Windows, Mac. I even tried Chromebook once. Never used Chromebook for writing code. Anyhow, I've used desktops and all-in-ones and laptops. So my recommendation is laptop, first of all, because developers like to move around. You may want to be at your desk one day, then maybe you're going on the road, maybe you want to go see a client and show them some of the work you're doing. So laptop, first and foremost. Second, your laptop should be SSD-based, solid-state drive. Why? Because when you're doing a lot of coding, especially, you're constantly opening and closing files. SSDs are 10,000 times faster than traditional drives, so get an SSD-based drive. The SSD minimum should be 256 gigs. I would go for 500 gigs or more if you can afford it. Number two, keyboard. You want a really good keyboard, something that's easy to type on. So before you pick up a laptop, try out the keyboard, make sure it's cool, read reviews about the keyboard. Uh, in the old days, the Lenovo keyboards were fantastic. I like the Mac keyboards, but I like Mac, but you have to like Mac OS for that. Second thing, that was the second thing, keyboard. Number three, you want really good screen. The monitor, you're gonna be looking at that monitor all day. Make sure that monitor is cool. Make sure it's, uh, it's uh, IPS, I think it is. Basically, you have a maximum viewing angle. Spend a little bit more money to get a good monitor. That is for sure. Uh, resolution of monitor, high resolution is very good. Now, if it's too high, the pixels may be too small to read. Of course, you can adjust that. How about the size of the laptop? That's a personal choice. If you get an ultra thin with a big screen with small bevels, that's fantastic. The MacBook Air, the new one in 2023, very nice computer. It's not as powerful as the, uh, the MacBook Pro, but you don't need any more power to write code. So we talked keyboard, we, call it, we talked SSD, we talked screen. Of course, you need RAM. How much RAM? Minimum 16 gig of RAM. Of course, you can get, get away with 8 gig, but 16 gig, 32 gig, um, especially gonna, if you're going to be running virtual machines, that would be useful to you. Not necessary. So there you go. Good keyboard, um, laptop, uh, good screen, uh, good um, lots of 16 gig of RAM or more, SSD base. You know, 256, 500 gig SSD. I don't even know if you can get 128 anymore. But there you go. That, to me, is the ideal laptop. How big? If you get too big, it becomes encumbering. If you plan to be moving a lot, if you're a nomad developer or you're traveling a lot, I wouldn't be uh, getting one of those huge laptops because they're really hard to carry around. So what do I use now? What do I use? I have, and I'm recording this in 2023, I have a 2020 M1 MacBook Air. So it's not the biggest laptop, that's what I like. It's actually the old design where it's quite thin here. So it kind of, kind of, kind of tapers off. And it's a good size. It's not the biggest. Um, I like that portability. If you want more screens, you can attach external monitor to this. So you have the best of both worlds. You can use your external monitors to uh, have the screen real estate, and you also have the ultralight thin portability. Another great thing about the SSD, SSDs obviously, obviously extend the battery life. That all said, I'm recording this in 2023. You can take a six, seven, eight year old computer, desktop, laptop, Linux, Windows, Mac, OS, doesn't matter. It will be more than fine to write code. Some of the best software in the world was written with computers from 10, 15 years ago that by today's standards are so weak, nobody even would consider them. Oh yeah, finally, what operating system? They're all good, you know, built into Linux, built into Mac OS, because Mac OS is free BSD Unix behind the scenes. Uh, you have all the command line tools are there. For Windows, you can easy, easily install uh, an app for free that gives you all the command line tools. So choose your operating system that you just like or prefer, generally speaking. Um, they're all pretty good for writing code, that's for sure. All right, I hope this is useful. I'm Uncle Steph. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.